Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new here, I'm Deanna Lee, nice to meet you. If you've been watching my videos, you know by now that I'm very excited for spring and summer fashion this year, but unfortunately it is very much still winter. So I've been feeling very unmotivated with how I dress and very uninspired with my winter fashion content. So I wanted to kind of get back into it and hopefully get a little re-inspired. So today we are doing some recreating Pinterest outfits. So I've put together a board of outfits I think I can recreate with my wardrobe and hopefully get a little more motivated and inspired and excited about dressing for winter. So without further ado, let's get into it. I wanna start with this outfit. I think this is pretty much like a winter uniform. So first things first, her hair is in a bun and I feel like that's part of the vibe. I feel like with a lot of winter outfits, like people wear their hair tied back because you don't want your hair to tangle and stuff. She's wearing silver earrings, like silver statement earrings. I don't wear silver, so I'm gonna go with a gold statement earring. I think these are like the closest I'm gonna get to what she has. She has Celine Sunnies on, so let me grab those. I'll leave these on my head for now. So we've got a chunky sweater, what looks like a mini skirt, tights, and loafers. I think I have all those things. Let's start with tights. Okay, obviously it's winter, so we are doing lined tights. Okay, base layer is on. I put on the tights, a pair of shorts, and just a long sleeve top underneath. Um, since she is coatless in this outfit, I feel like it's important to layer underneath our clothing so that we stay warm. This is just the perfect black mini skirt, but it's also a skirt. And the skirt, you guys, the material is so nice. It's not like other skirts that really like grip at you and stuff like that, you know, that are just like, they ride up, they're uncomfortable, things like that. Skirt is on. Let's try it with this sweater. I have a feeling this sweater might totally swallow up the outfit though. I already ruined my hair. <laughs> Oh, actually, it looks like she has it tucked. I don't want to tuck it into the skirt though because that will cause a lot of bulk in the front here. So I'm gonna show you a little hack. So all you need is a belt that will fit along the area you want it tucked in. And we're gonna leave a little bit of slack room for the sweater. And we're just gonna tuck up and underneath. Um, so you're not gonna see the belt at all. If this bothers you, what you can do is take a little elastic. Another petite style hack, but I just take these little clear elastics and I will slide it onto the belt to create like a belt loop on the belt itself. That we can move to wherever we need it. I'll just tuck the end into my little elastic there. Now, sweater is going up and in. Okay, that's much, much better. Okay, now we can kind of mess with it. So now it kind of looks like I have a French tuck going on, but I don't actually. And she's got like what looks like a little Chanel flat bag, which I do not have. So let's grab some loafers. Okay, so I grabbed two pairs here. I have these kind of more chic loafers, a little more elevated from Michael Kors. And then I've got like full on Wednesday Adam loafers. I feel like if there was like a hybrid of these two, <laughs> it would be perfect for this look, but I'm gonna try both and see which one I like better. Okay, so here it is with like the Wednesday loafers. I don't know how far back I need to go for you to see. I'm just gonna go all the way back to the corner here. So I think this is kind of cute, but let's try the lower profile loafers just in case. This is what it looks like with a lower profile loafer. I think this would be a lot more flattering if I was much taller. It just goes to show though how much shoes can change the vibe of an outfit completely. I think honestly having a lot of shoes and having a lot of bags <laughs> that you can like play around in different ways with your outfits is a great way to be more stylish. Okay, chunky loafers are back. Let's throw on a purse. Now I don't have a flat bag, but I do have my Amazon bag. We're rolling with it. She's holding her coffee. Let's pretend my phone is a coffee. And <laughs> I don't have sunglass eyebrows. Do you know what I mean? Like some people when they put on sunglasses, their eyebrows come up above the sunglasses, but I am not that lucky. So I have to wear them like down here for my eyebrows to show. I feel like I look like an alien. So when it comes to pictures and things, I usually wear them on my head. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit. I'm actually very glad I tried this one because I have not worn these loafers yet, I don't think. So I'm gonna rate this one a four out of five because I think it's very cute, very simple and minimal, but still stylish. I think it's very warm. I'm feeling very toasty right now, which is good. Plus it convinced me to style something I don't wear that often, which we love to see. Ooh, okay, I wanna try this one next because I mentioned this in a recent video, but I, don't know how to wear blazers in a way that works for me. She's wearing a blazer kind of like as a dress here and I wanna try that out. I'm actually gonna keep this skirt on, I think. I don't know if I have a gray turtleneck. I'm not really into the color gray. I can't see what jewelry she's wearing at all, so I'm gonna leave the same jewelry on. Ooh, okay, yeah, this is pretty cute. 
my violet boots, which I just love to death. These are like the cutest boots in the world. If you're walking a long time in them, they can start to hurt, especially around the toe area. So I actually wear like ballet toe pads when I wear them. Something to keep in mind, if you wanna buy these boots, I honestly recommend that you size up a half size and then wear really thick socks. So I get these socks on Amazon, which I wear with Doc Martens or any shoe that has a very firm leather. It adds like a little bit of cushion. Oh, where's my phone? Well, I found it. Pretty cute, I think so far. She has her hair down, so we're gonna take her hair down in a minute. I wear literally the same rings every single day. So we're just gonna throw those on. I am on the lookout for more like daintier rings cause my rings are pretty chunky. They make a big statement, which I like, but sometimes I want something a little more understated. And let's get a blazer. I pulled out two different ones. This one's a little more loose and oversized and then this one's a little more structured. I thrift all my blazers because they're so much easier and cheaper to thrift. You can get like really nice brands for very cheap, but I also like never wear them. So this is pretty cute. I feel like if I pulled the collar, up over it? No, that's weird. That's like circus clown. Okay, this one's more structured. It's a little more fitted. Immediately, it's totally different vibe. So even though I have two black blazers, I feel like they serve different functions. Like this is like a job interview blazer. You know what I mean? It's like super professional. It fits like a glove. I mean, this is a total vibe. I think I would like this better with pumps or loafers. So let me go back to the other one. Let me see what her accessory situation is. Is that a Pullman bag? I don't know what kind of bag that is. Celine maybe, but I'm gonna see if I have a black tote bag. I think I might have one buried in the back of a closet. Okay, black tote bag is long gone. I definitely decluttered it because I never wore it. So I just grabbed my Kate Spade bag. This one looks cuter when you snap the chin back. Gives it like a slight dumpling look. I'm just trying to figure out how to wear a blazer for a second here. It's like the shoulders are riding up when I try to put a bag on. <laughs> what is happening? There we go, I got the blazer on you guys. Let me take my hair down. And we're gonna do a little and let's take a look at the whole outfit. Her sleeves are popping through part of the look, so I'm gonna pull that out. Details matter, so watch out for those little details. So this is the fit of clothes. I think it's definitely cuter when you kind of hold the blazer closed. And I really like it. It's pretty neutral, it's pretty minimal. I feel like on me, it feels kind of like I'm wearing a costume because I'm wearing a blazer. I really do want to become a blazer girly in 2024, so I'm trying to get used to wearing them and like seeing myself in them. Something about them just doesn't feel like me, but I'm trying to just grow up. So let's do this one. It's like a little fur jacket moment with a little pleated skirt and I can keep the boots that I'm wearing on. Keep the boots and throw on a fur coat. I don't know what's happening with my throat, you guys, oh my God. All right, I think I've got everything here. We've got my faux fur jacket. This is my favorite pleated skirt. It's very sailor coated, like sailor moon coated, which I love. It's from Halara, I do have a discount code with them. So I will put that on the screen. And then this sweater from Princess Polly. I just love the way the sweater fits. It makes me feel like a little bat. This is actually also a skirt, and it's also a very comfortable skirt. So it is perv proof. So if that's something you are worried about, I totally feel you. So I had to switch cameras because the Sony would not stop overheating. So that's why the video looks different. Sorry about that. This jacket doesn't quite fit the same way as hers does in the photo. Hers has like a little bit of a collar. Okay, wait. No, this is really cute, even without the collar. It's giving, like, preppy mob wife. <laughs> so those styles contradict each other, mob wife and preppy. I don't care if they do. Her sleeves are also pulled out. You'll notice a lot of Pinterest girlies do this. It's very cute and cozy. The pointed toe shoe in this outfit is doing a lot, but we don't have one, so we're vibing. Um, where's my purse? Okay, again, she's like holding a flat bag, but we're just gonna throw on my little Amazon purse. Let's just make the pose. And this is the outfit. Yeah, it's like simple, but cute. I think one thing I'm noticing about all these outfits is that they're all pretty minimal. Like really, it's just closet staples that are being styled in an intentional way. I feel like this one is very much like interesting by shape. We have the little flared skirt that comes out, but also we have that pop of texture and color. Honestly, this is another five out of five. I really like it. I think it's super cute. What do I want to do next? So she has like a big full skirt on. I don't have a white skirt like that, so I'm gonna do it with a black dress. She's got like a pointed toe boot, so I'm gonna look for a pointed toe booty. So we've got a pointed toe boot. I feel like a pointed toe boot always looks very elevated. Okay, it's giving witch right now. I feel like a lot of times with the outfits, like recreating Pinterest outfits, it's all about capturing the vibe. So let's see what I have. I'm going with this like cream colored sweater because I feel like it's kind of gonna subdue the look a little bit. Uh, this might kind of be giving none though. <laughs> There's this principle that Christina Mihas talks about, big, slim skin theory. So you need something big, something slim, 
and then a little bit of skin. This is like all big, no slim, no skin. Okay, I need to make this dress a tube, so I'm just gonna tuck the straps into my bra. We are sticking with a cream sweater. This one is off the shoulder. So now we've got an element of skin, but I feel like we still need some slim. So I'm just gonna take a hair tie and I'm gonna tie the end of the sweater really tight. All right, we're getting somewhere actually. Her hair is pulled back. I feel like a ponytail is a great way to introduce a slim element into your outfit. Okay, this is coming up pretty cute. It's like taking a turn away from the outfit, but we're discovering a new way to style our clothing. So I feel like this needs a necklace. She's wearing like regular glasses, but I'm gonna put on sunglasses. Okay, there we go. Okay, this kind of a vibe. Let's get the pose that she's doing. She's just kind of like, you know. I like the ankle length skirt and I like it combined with this sweater. It still is giving like a little bit of a chunky feel because it's kind of folding up on itself, but I feel like I added some like edgier elements which kept this look from looking totally like Little House on the Prairie. But I really like this and what I like about this outfit too is that it really forced me to be creative with my clothes. Like that's like the whole point of this. So this is going to be a five out of five you guys i really like this outfit i think it's super cute okay i want to try this one i don't really have anything quite like this in my closet but i think it's so cute i definitely don't have red shoes we're gonna see if we can kind of capture the essence of this outfit regardless of me not having those pieces okay i'm gonna go back to this cream sweater that we vetoed earlier because it has the funnel neck i'm styling these dark wash jeans but they actually faded so much that i think the wash kind of matches so let's throw these on and i want to try to recreate this look with these shoes here very different but i also feel like the vibe is similar so her jeans are kind of like ankle length so i'm gonna like fold mine i actually like the cuff okay this is the closest i have to her coat i do think it's gonna change the vibe because mine is like kind of textured i feel like this is a little more whimsical and hers is a little more like chic and structured. I like the fit though of the boxy jacket with the slimmer jeans and then the little girly Mary Jane. She also has her hair in a braid. Oh my God, that's actually so cute. See the braid like totally adds something to the outfit. I am missing the pop of red that she has on her shoes. So I wanna kind of incorporate that back into the outfit. Okay, so the bag definitely helps brings that like pop of red back in, but I still want to do a little red lip because my lipstick's wearing off anyway. I don't know how beauty influencers do this. It's so hard to see myself on the camera. i top that off with a red gloss. So not only does the hair totally change the vibe, but the makeup makes a big difference as well to your outfit. The sweater and the coat are kind of the same length and it's just not really doing a lot for my vertical line. So we want to bring a little more attention upwards on my legs. So that line is kind of broken up a little bit. Let me get a little elongation of the legs again. And then here's the look. I honestly love this. Like this is not something I would have put together for myself, but it's super cute. It's very simple. It's super warm. This coat is incredibly warm. It's from ASOS. It's Paul and Bear. And I love the pop of red, even though we didn't have it in my shoes. We had it in the bag, my nails and my lips. So we could even do like a who doesn't love tying a bow on literally everything? I'm not good at tying bows. I always have to have Dan tie bows for me because he's like really, really good at it. He ties the prettiest little girly bows. <laughs> Stop, that's adorable. I feel like Red Riding Hood. Um, I'm giving this look a five out of five. We're doing great today, you guys. Um, what are we up to? I have like a lot of outfits here that I want to create. This video might be a million years long though. I didn't do anything wearing Uggs. And what I like about this one is I feel like it's a cozy Ugg outfit, but it still looks very elevated and chic. So instead of like, I feel like the Uggs can look very casual and girly. These two pieces are like the outfit base for so many of my outfits, honestly. These are like closet essentials for me. Okay, here is the outfit base. I mentioned these are closet staples for me. This top is from H&M, it was like $6. And then the jeans are Abercrombie and let's throw on the Uggs. One note too is whenever I'm wearing wide leg or baggy pants in the winter, especially if it's very cold out, I like to wear either leggings or fleece line tights underneath them because they can be very breezy when you're walking, like air can get up in there. Great, great, great way to stay warm. That's actually what kept me alive when I was in Canada. So kind of got, and she has a Polen bag, which I do not have. I actually don't have a bag that color at all. I feel like her pull-in bag is matching the color of her Uggs, which is kind of tying things together, but 
Oh well, I don't have a bag that color. Actually, I totally do. I always forget I have this bag. I'm not much of a big bag girl, but I feel like big bags are super cute for the winter. Um, so we're gonna throw this on. Okay, okay. But it's super cohesive. I kept the necklaces on. Oh, her hair is down. Let me take my hair down. And she's not wearing sunglasses, but I feel like sunglasses make everything look more stylish. Pull those little front pieces out. My hair's at an awkward length where my bangs like stick out in a weird way. I actually really like the red lipstick with this outfit too because this outfit is like very almost plain. Let's do her pose, hang on. She's got rings on too. Her rings are silver, but I am a gold girly through and through, so I'm keeping my gold rings on. But yeah, I like the red lip with this outfit because this outfit is super cozy and casual, and then the red lip just kind of adds that pop of something. I think I want to do this outfit. This is a really cool outfit, and I don't really have pieces in these colors, so I'm gonna play with the color palette a little bit, but I wanna create basically the shape of this outfit. Okay, so I decided to kind of minimize the color palette in this outfit. She's got kind of four different colors going on, um, so I'm gonna limit it just to black and brown. So I have this tube top on that's black and then a brown skirt. But I don't want to be freezing cold because this is winter, so I'm going to put on like a slim bolero. The little bolero is from Garage, and it's like a nice knit, so it's really warm, and it's just going to keep me a little cozier. And then I'm going to put on my black leather jacket. Cute. Let me look at this so far. Oh, this is fun. Okay, we can't see what shoes she's wearing. I'm just going to put on my black boots. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to go with this brown bag so that the brown skirt doesn't feel lonely. Because if I go with the black bag, the brown is making more of a statement, but I also feel like it looks a little less intentional. Like it looks kind of like I accidentally wore black and brown. So let's go back to the brown bag. Let's make it a little more cohesive with my brown sunnies. Okay, this is fun. This is a fun look. I love anything with these little neck scarves. I feel like I don't see them as often as I used to, but I think they're adorable. And whenever I post like an outfit reel with these, it doesn't do very well, but I think they're literally so stinking cute, so I don't care. This is like super effortlessly cool. It's very New York, very comfy too. It's very warm. Honestly, the bolero underneath is doing a lot to keep me warm. I feel like this outfit just might not be outfitting as much as the others though. I feel like this would look really good on It's Yu Yan, if you know her YouTube channel. I think she would totally rock this outfit. I think I'm gonna give this outfit a three out of five. It's cute but it's just not wowing me as much as the others. I have a lot more outfits that I wanted to recreate. So let me know if you want to see another video like this. I kind of tried to give you like styling tips as I went along and like talk through my process of kind of how I style outfits. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely give this a like and let me know. Be sure of course to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram so we can be besties and you can get a lot more outfit inspo as well as little glimpses into my life. It's really fun to make. I actually am feeling much more inspired and I can't wait to get dressed for the winter now, so I feel like that's exactly what I wanted to accomplish. So definitely more shopping your closet in 2024 instead of just going out and buying something new because I'm feeling pretty motivated and inspired to keep dressing cute this winter. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.